Okay, so the last time I wore this top was two months ago and on that day I made a video about the coil um, and more specifically the like coil fitting situation. Um, ooh, which if you haven't seen that I will link it down below if I remember. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I briefly talked about what had the kind of pains and things like that that I'd had about 10 days after it and that was like supposed to settle down obviously now it's been two months and I just feel like I should make an updated video about what has happened in the past two months so basically um I will start with pain <laughs> um it is unbelievable the amount of pain that the coil has caused and the fact that doctors seem to brush it off and say no no it couldn't possibly be the coil but it's like it's nothing else um at one point i ended up in a and e actually no two points i ended up in, in a and e and they said that it must have been like my bowel or something like that i got into spasm and was saying like they gave me these like ibs tablets and things like that and i was like i don't have a problem in the area of pooping like it's not that and um it was even now it's sort of what i imagine like contractions to be like it's like a sharp tight pain that kind of takes your breath away almost and it will always happen if i walk just from my house to the shop that is literally like around the corner it takes me what like two and a half minutes to walk to it like by the time i get there my stomach is killing me my back is killing me it hurts my legs like any sort of symptoms i normally get with period pain it's like that but a lot worse and heightened and there's just been a couple of times where it's really sort of taken me by surprise and i it's it's made me cry it's made me like keel over i've been standing up when it's happened and i've literally just been like holding on to whatever is near and like bent over with the pain but apparently that's not the coil obviously what else could it be um so that hasn't been very pleasant and if you have any sort of sexual encounter it gets a lot worse um, so I would not suggest and bleeding wise it's very on and off but like pretty consistently like there is always a little bit of blood whether it's like literally the tiniest 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 bit there's always something and then it'll range from being that to like super heavy like as if you you are having a really heavy period but that can go from like one day to like two weeks which is obviously very inconvenient and also very painful um so that's just kind of been a obviously a hindrance having having to constantly wear a side towel and constantly being in pain and wanting to go out and things like that but thinking like it's because say we've got uh weather spoons that is about a 15 minute walk away probably less actually probably about 10 minutes and we go there quite a lot with my friends and it's like if they say like oh should we go to spoons like the my th first thought is like how am i gonna get there and how am i gonna get home like obviously i don't mind walking but it's like i feel like i need someone with me when i walk places because i know it hurts a lot and you know i might need to take some sort of break i might need to sit down somewhere like it hurts like a bitch <laughs> like i can't stress enough like how annoying it's been and i've been sent for blood tests i've been sent for scans and things like that because they would not accept that it was the coil that was causing this, this much pain this much pain and when i went for the scan they you know got like a nice little camera and you know put that in i thought it was going to be an ultrasound but i was very wrong I had like four, well I had one doctor and three nurses in the room with me and it was all a bit like, oh shit. Um, 
and they sort of checked everything they checked my ovaries and things like that and said everything looks fine there wasn't really any like fluid or anything that should have shouldn't have been there and nothing was like my womb wasn't pierced or anything and they said it's probably like my womb rejecting the coil but like has been constantly rejecting it for the two months and they're like no 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 like that'll settle down so it can take up to six months but it's like am I really gonna do what I've already done two more times for it to maybe settle down or for me to just need to get it taken out anyway so on Monday just gone it is Thursday the 29th of September right now so on the Monday just gone um, I went back to just the like family planning clinic whatever you want to call it um, and spoke to another like nurse doctor I'm not quite sure what they are I think they're nurses um, but I was like really scared because it's the first time I've had like a male nurse for like this type of thing um, and I took my dad in with me <laughs> because I was like real scared but he's honestly like out of everyone who I thought would be understanding like he was like obviously I haven't got a cervix I don't know what the pain's like but that does not sound like it's a bundle of fun and I was like no it's not and he was like why did you get one and I said I didn't want one like my GP told me to get one because of the amount of problems I've been having with my period and stuff like that he said that would be the best option and he was saying well when you were on you know the Zaletta which is a single hormone pill like why didn't he just tell you to double that up and I'm thinking what and he said yeah like I stopped taking Zaletta because I was bleeding on it constantly but he said if you double that up like it stops and I can't be on double hormone pills because when I get migraines it affects my vision which means that you can't have estrogen pills I think just basically the double hormone like microgynon, celeste and maybe sorel I think the three that I've been on that I shouldn't have been on and could have had a stroke nice one um so yeah I'm back on Zaletta now and I'm getting the coil taken out tomorrow morning and I could not be happier obviously I'm really nervous like he's he was really lovely and he said you know it's not gonna hurt like it did when I got it put in because he said obviously he again he doesn't understand the pain but I, as I tried to explain like the pain of it going in and stuff like that he said obviously we will still have to open you up a tad which is uncomfortable and not very pleasant at all but the whole removal process shouldn't really hurt and he said like like last time where my blood pressure like you know took a turn for the worst and all that type of things he said that really doesn't happen when you're getting it taken out it can happen a lot when you get it put in but not taken out he said some people have been like when they've had it put in have been on oxygen and had to have a drip and all things like that and they don't tell you that when you go to get it fitted i feel like a lot of women just see like okay so my options are like obviously just condoms which is still a bit like a little sketchy not for me <laughs> too scary <laughs> um or like the pill and injections and the coil and the implant and it's like nobody tells you like they all tell you about the pros of it but no one tells you about what like I know it might be a slight possibility but obviously I've been through it so it's like no one tells you about the maybe cons of it and the fact that I've been back many times and just said like you know should I get it taken out and they've always said no like you should wait you should put up with it like the pain's not gonna last that long and all that shit but like just over two months later actually probably about two months and a week <laughs> later ish I don't know um and like this is the final straw like I will be sat just watching a film in bed minding my own business and then it's just like the tightest like it's like a I don't know how to explain it. it's like a tight stabbing pain in my womb like right at the base of your stomach and it's just not nice you can't get comfortable like you can't even like rolling over in bed is like difficult and it's like with me having like costochondritis and asthma and a cold at the minute when it sort of does take your breath away like it's difficult to do things because my chest is already like kind of shit so yeah i just wanted to like get out there i feel like this video has been a lot of rambling but i just want to make everyone consider like obviously i'm, I'm not gonna say don't get the coil because i know 
a lot of people who've got it and have been absolutely fine. They've had no problems. The fitting wasn't as bad as when I got it. Like they didn't have any pain and it's been a breeze. They don't even think about it anymore. Like it's just there. But you have to think about what could happen and have to like be aware of it rather than just saying like, no, everything is going to be fine and it's not the curl that's causing any problems because it can. So be careful. But that is all I have to say. Um, if the removal process is kind of horrible, um, I will either film another little section after this or I'll put it in the description if it's just really brief and it was okay. I have one more video to put up before I do this one, which is my Halloween one. Um, and then I'll probably put this one up straight after. So I don't know why I'm telling you because you will see it when it's up. But just to, you know, just to clarify, I think this is my daily plan. Do you like it? Yeah, you do. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> see you next time. Bye.